Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well Scorpio Rising. Weekly tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands as a topic of uh, our week Scorpio is going to be the Knight of Wands, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you, we will need to overcome here, that is going to be the Page of Wands, followed by the third one which stands for the uh, positive aspect of our week, that is going to be the Knight of Swords, pretty crowded for what it seems, I mean, the, the week is going to be quite cramped, <laughs> and the last one here, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering, uh, it will be uh, the Six of Cups, so it looks like as a uh, quite sort of a social week that we are going to have, I mean, three people to deal with. Uh, anyway, so the topic itself is going to revolve around this person, which is the Knights of Wands here, and it is accompanied or kind of catalyzed with the uh, Five of Wands, so active supporters is what we have. Quite a very passionate guy or a girl for that matter. So what that person really wants to do with us is to try us out. Uh, it's as simple as that. I mean, they, they don't have a particular goal or a particular, particular idea. Maybe they just find us attractive. Maybe they, they just find us a... Uh, how can I say, uh, a lucrative in regards to business, if that's a business, but the thing is that they really sees us as a, a, a fresh wind into their world, so if that's regards to a, a, a private circle, you know, a, a intimate life, you can expect a lot of flirting with this guy or a girl, you know, you can expect a lot of pleasant surprises, that's the thing, I mean, this guy brings a, a very, very pleasant surprises and around turn into the field that this guy comes around, all right, that this person comes around. Why? Because they are very energetic, very enthusiastic, enterprising kind of person who is, uh, once they see a, a, a reason, once their interest is fed up with us, I mean, we show that we show that we are interesting to them, uh, they're ready to do what it's needed to get the thing to its uh, to its very end. So if that's a guy, for example, that flirts with you and you are capable to hook on him, all right, or to hook him in, uh, it looks like that he's gonna be a puppy, all right? I mean, you, you, you can just do whatever you like and they will be more and more interested with you and with your endeavors as well. But also you can expect a lot of passion in the interaction in between you and the Knights of Wands. So, um, it's, it looks like, uh, how can I say it? Well, it looks like that this week is going to be quite of a, a dynamic uh, as we are going to have something to do with this night. And as I said, it could play 
Anyway, it can. I mean, it could be business partnership here with a person with great ideas, all right? Or if you, if you crave for relationships, well, there you go. I mean, that guy is going to be, now, at least for the time being, everything you have ever wanted. Funny, um, romantic, you know, enthusiastic as well, gifting you flowers and all these kinds of stuff. It's just, it's gonna be, he is gonna dapple, he or she is gonna dapple your world, Scorpio, with only pleasant surprises. So the other one, however, uh, comes as a, a challenge here, and that is going to be the page of um, wants accompanied with the tower card so we do have a, a very dangerous combo um that is a, a person who envies to the knight of wands all right with the tower card i mean this one wanted the same thing okay but it looks like that i didn't get it with the tower and and with the tower um uh, this one is ready to do very not only drastic but it's ready to destroy worlds if you uh if you will so you can expect um a pretty sneaky and um i would say as well in some extreme cases pretty nefarious actions from the uh page uh from the page of wands how you're gonna recognize the page of wands well they are usually people who likes to be in the spotlight all right they like to be the center of the company they likes to be uh, or of the social circle, they like to be the center of the project and so on and so forth. And they give the impression that they don't really care. I mean, they don't, uh, what, what you say and what you do does not affect them. But in reality, they are very, very fragile. So um, just if I have to, I don't know. Well, I will give you an example at the end of the reading. But just so you know, I mean, this person may give um, may give you an impression that they don't care that you are choosing the Knights of Wands over them. But uh, within there are going to be a cauldron of rage. You know, it's, it's just... And they, they will seek any kind of a uh, an opening here to... Sev not just only sever but destroy the good relationship that you can have with the knights of uh, wands so that could be a very dangerous love triangle here that we are having on our hands someone who is very jealous very angry not, not jealous they, they never had you all right they are very angry to the knights of wands and they can go to a very very destructive manners to um to drift you apart from the productive relationship that you can have with the knight of uh, with the knight of wands so the other card which is the positive aspect of the week for you scorpio is going to be the knight of swords and we are having the um justice card which stands as a uh, catalyst here these are a active supporters and on a positive note we do have another person who appears to be uh, somewhat a spectator to all that but the thing is that this person uh, can discern the reality so uh, what kind of a role that person is gonna play for us is to open our eyes for the page who the page is how the page act what kind of an actions the page is taking behind the curtains and toward what those actions are going to lead so we can uh, we can forewarned and therefore forearm so we can prevent any kind of damage that the page of wands can do to our relationships to our life to the life of the knights of wands to our career and etc etc additionally to that uh, this uh, knights of one knights of swords excuse me especially with this combo they kind of they get nauseated from misjustice from injustice right from mistreatment and from especially from people who have a, a very high standards without any cover for themselves so uh this is one way how you can spot the, who the page is in, in you when uh because the page of wands and the knight of swords in your life they're not gonna have a very very good relationship in between all right the knights is going to despise the page of wands and the pen the the page is going to be the one with a very, very high opinion. It's like everybody else is a maggot and they don't deserve anything. The page does deserve everything for themselves. Okay. 
and uh, once you spot who the page is for you well keep them aside i mean just walk away run away from them you just kind of like try to restrict them from having any influence in your life what uh, so ever and the last card that we are having here is going to be in regards to the guidance that Tarot is offering that is to be the six of cups here and it is accompanied well look at that with the um, king of cups so now we really can say for sure that the knight is gonna make us an offer it could be an offer for a relationship it could be an offer for a business it could, any kind of offer very very tempting offer and the thing is that this offer is going to make us feel very well i mean it's going to be such kind of an offer that we have waited for so much time guys and uh, it's going to make us emotionally and physically happy Especially if this is a relationship offer, you can expect that once this guy is hooked up, I mean, he's going to love you for life. It's just with these two cards, it's, this is how it goes. But uh, it's very important as well, guidance-wise, you should not show your happiness to the world. That is the thing here, all right? But you, sh you should show your happiness only to those who deserve to see that you are happy. So you have been approached, and just to give you an example, you have been approached with this uh, by this guy or a girl, it doesn't matter, you start dating, you see that you are spending hell of a quality time together, you like them, they like you, you love them, they love you, you get together, do not brag about it. That is gonna make your pa the page even more furious, even more enraged. And, and uh, that rage could, you know, traverse into rampage at certain points and you don't want that so the more you keep your happiness um, as a secret if you will the more you are going to diminish the challenge here which is to deal with the quadrant of rage that the page of ones have within them all right so um yeah well once one more thing here with the last couple of cards that is that you need to be quite balanced when it comes to, uh, how can I say it, when it comes to displaying the mutual endeavors in between you and the Knights of Wands, and as well, you should not be, how can I say it, well, you should not um, be imaginative, if I will, kind of like a daydream flying the clouds uh, because you you need to stick grounded that's that's my point here so that being said scorpio this was our weekly reading for november 18th to november 24th i personally am so looking forward for to see uh who the knights of wands is i pretty much know who the page is already but, uh, you know, I, I guess you also know for yourself. All right. So, yeah, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.